Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here to sin in the Garden of Sinners event. Um, nothing special here, man. I just need to record a video, and I'm here with this, uh, this one right here. This is one of those mission structure one. I'm basically just going to be following a guide and doing this, so this is, in essence, a fake Grand Order version of Grind and Talk, so let's set it up, and let me see. Well, first of all, I'm looking at a guide. I'm currently on step, step 12, I believe. Um, so let's see. Uh, I need to look at the optimal CEs. Okay. Okay. I need some kitty ones. Where can I find a kitty? 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 I have none of the black cat ones, by the way. There we go. I guess I need to make a special one for... Yeah, okay. Sure. I've been basically running um, a theme here. Let me see, where are you? Should be fine to run that. And then where are you? You should be all the way at the bottom because your bond point isn't high enough. Uh, no, don't go there. Mm, where's the thatch? Just, that's, there she is. I'm basically doing this to help grind up um, bond points for everyone. Alright, let me see. What are the C's I need? I need the bunny. There's the bunny. Decapitating bunny. And then I need... Hmm. Next is... I guess after that I'm just good to do all these because I don't have any... Um, I don't have any... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't have any of the... Um, I don't have any black cats. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, and I think I'm good to start here. Do I need one specifically for... No, it doesn't look like I do. Anyway, let's jump in. I'm gonna run this three times. And then we should be good. All the enemies are super weak, because of course they are. And I need to do this three times. We'll just, you know, sit around and talk a bit. Uh, how's everyone doing? I hope you're doing fine. I'm doing pretty good. I have a crazy-ass work week, by the way. It's going to be... I don't understand how I'm going to be able to record anything. Because I work basically all every single day, and I can only record at night. And I work a night shift. So how the hell does that work out? Um, doesn't make any sense to me, man. But also, I need money, so... It's not like I can... Uh, I don't get any money from YouTube. Yet. But if I did, then it would help me a long way. But, you know, not there yet. Slowly building my way up there. Uh, let's go here. I think I'm gonna do this. Because it'll help me, you know. I'll get to show off some NP. But I was able to get the, was it Fujino? Is I believe that is her name. Uh, I was able to get her off of one multi. So I'm pretty happy about it. And she seems pretty good. Uh, and it's a damn shame that I don't, I'm never going to be able to get her MP2 ever. Because she's limited to this event and that's it. And I don't know if I ever want to go back into that banner. I don't know. Seems like a bad... I cannot believe First Hassan from one arts card already has his MP. That's insane. That man had bleeds um, MP gauge increasement. Alright, let's see. Hmm... I mean, I could do that, but I'm not gonna do that. I'll go like this. It's not optimal, but also, hey. At a certain point, like, I, I kind of, when it's these kind of events, the ones that are mission structure, I like to have, like, a variety team, but if it's one mission where it's, like, non-stop grinding this one thing, and in which case, for that, I will, um, make it so, I'll bring, I'll bring out the Arash, and I'll bring out the Bunyan, and I'll just go ham on it. But not for these kinds, man. For these, I'm just good to be like, these are the sermons I like to use. They'll be able to beat it pretty easily. Let's get it done. That's how I like to play this game. That's how I've been able to keep playing this game that constantly fucks me over every other banner. Oh, that's easy. Alright, let's see. Uh, I mean, this is excessive. By the highest degree of excessive, but... This music's pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go. I think I could actually just... Do I even need you, King of Son? I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna do it for the disrespect. And I think it's really funny, the idea of King of Son killing a ghost. 
But let's see, first of all, if Regino can kill, um, Twist, Twist, Twist. I don't think she killed him. I don't think she killed her. Oh, Rip Bridge! <laughs> I hope to one day watch, um, get to the point where Garden of Sinners does that, because I have no idea why that bridge is a single target attack. It's the craziest thing to have single target. This makes sense to be single target, because he's literally hitting one dude, but how do you justify a person getting hit by a bridge? Or is the bridge in your mind? All questions that'll never be answered, unfortunately. Alright, got some black cats, not bad. Again, I don't have any personal buffers to black cats, so that really sucks for me, but... Nothing we can do about that. This looks pretty good. I need the main, you know... I really don't listen to fake Grand Order with any of the sounds on, usually. It's very rare for me to do it, mainly because, like, um... I don't know, it's not like... I don't, like, I think the only game that I legitimately listen to the sound on on purpose is Dragalia Lost, but, um, Fate apparently has very good music. And I agree, because I watch the anime and I like the songs that play during it, but it's also not one of those ones where I'm like... I need to get into the mood for it or something, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm talking sense, but... Alright, let's get back into it. But yeah, busy work week. And I have so many gotchas to grind. Thankfully, I'm basically done with Dragalia Lost, because Dragalia Lost is super easy to grind. But for a lot of other things, it's just like... It's a constant back and forth, man. I don't know. But it's worth it, I think, for the most part. I mean, mainly it's worth it because I get to make more videos off of it, and, you know, I love my Paper Mario videos. Not everyone sees it. Now, why do I keep doing them? The answer is simple. Because if I kept doing the same thing over and over again, I think I'd honestly go insane. It'd be a good way for me to burn out on a game. Like, I need to have the variety, uh, because that's how I actually play gacha games. So, my channel is a reflection on what my current, um, gotcha feelings are which is why there's not a lot of jump tyson because i did the one jump tyson video and then when i actually started playing jump tyson i was like i actually don't i don't like this i don't like it at all now that doesn't mean i don't think it can change in the future or something because i definitely think um it can whether it be uh, in time i don't know um, but that game really annoyed me because it was like no skip for any of the dialogue. Super. I just don't. And it still has like the idea of like, man, it's ore collection, but not actually ore collection. It's really a bummer. But, um, let's, kick, let's get King of Song here. Oh, he's not going to have enough for an MP. That's a shame. But yeah, my channel is usually a reflection on that, but also like... I like playing regular games, non-gacha games, like Paper Mario, which I'm playing currently. You should check out my Paper Mario videos, they're great. Because Paper Mario is great. Um, I should really have done that form of advertising? Is advertisement the right word? It is the right word I'm looking for. This is not gonna go great. But I am gonna let him kill this ghost. Then I'll give her a slight MP boost and help that she does. Now he's gonna have his, yeah, so next turn either way she's dead. Wow, double of them, huh? Let's go again. Um, yeah, I like having variety is what my basic thing is what I think I was trying to say. But also, it's kind of hurtful for your channel, I guess. I would do Twitch stuff, because I would love to do Twitch things, but... I can't do Twitch things because of my current, like, setup with the internet. I could probably try. You know what? After this video gets released, I'm gonna put up a poll that says, Would you watch me Twitch stream if it was 3pm at night? Um, cause then I would do it once a week, and then we'd have a fun old time. And then I could maybe do, like, an archive of that and then put it up there and do stuff like that. Um, it'd be really fun. But again, I won't, I don't know. I just don't think my current internet's good enough to handle it. Because the one time I tried with Banjo-Kazooie, it just did not go well at all. Uh, but you know what? Again, after this episode releases, I'll 
throw it out a poll and see what the current feeling is. Because let me tell you, that one uh, stream, if you ever caught it, I doubt you did. Um, I did it with my brother, uh, Nux, who has his own YouTube channel, by the way. You should check it out. Link in the description below. Will I remember to do it? I don't know. But I should do it. Um, and he does a lot of fun videos. But I think he also is the same way as me, where he's like, what do I feel like playing today? And then he does a video on it. And right now he feels like playing Minecraft. So he plays Minecraft. Because... I don't know, you need to be able to, at least for me, it can be super telling when someone doesn't like what they're doing, which is why I always appreciate someone like, um, like Goresh, for example. Uh, his le when he doesn't like Legends, you can hear it in his voice, and he never tries to hide the fact that he never tries to play up the fact that, like, oh, Legends is one of the greatest games ever. Not to shit talk any of the Legends people who, like, let me, let me also say this, the people who generally be like, um, I think Legends is great. They probably legitimately do think that Legends is a fantastic game, and there's, uh, not that there's nothing wrong with it, but they like it so much, and they have fun with it, and, you know, more power to them, in essence. Um, and they can make videos of it because they love playing it so much, like, what's a good example? A good example is someone like Rhyme, because Rhyme does videos on Legends, but he also is smart in the way that he understands that if he ever played the game like Goresh does, he would have the probably the exact same complaints. But he always gets to around 50 and then kind of stops playing PvP. He always likes to stay in the 40 range because if you get too serious, then the game starts being a little bit worse for you. Um, now you could argue, and I'm not going to because I'm not one to argue, that if you're not interested in taking a game further, that kind of shows that that's the limit of the game itself, is that it's not actually competitively viable in any sort of capacity. That doesn't mean that uh, that's bad, by the way, because plenty of things are uncompetitive and perfectly fun. Like Yu-Gi-Oh, for example. Um, I played Yu-Gi-Oh a whole bunch, and I, you know, I went into some tournaments, but I can never take it super serious, because I didn't think that even back then, as much as I love Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh is not a good competitive game, especially back in the day when there was like, I mean, this back when I was playing, it was before Synchros, and when Synchros hit, I was like, yo, I already thought that the balance in, in, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! <coughs> in Yu-Gi-Oh! was bad, now I think it's tri <coughs> triply so, because it's, um, once Synchros were introduced, everything became an OTK, and it was awful, it was fucking terrible. Um, and if you play current Yu-Gi-Oh, I wonder how the meta has changed. I'm going to assume it's only gotten worse, because they've added so many other ways to play the game and, like, completely fuck over everyone, so... Yu-Gi-Oh is the Mario Party of TCGs. Or, I guess CCGs? No, CCGs are collectible card games and trading card games. Okay, it's a trading card game, because, uh, um, what's the word for it? Um... I think a CCG is something that you don't play, you just collect. Meaning there is no inherent value in the cards as a thing that you would like use in a competitive environment, if that makes sense. Um, I believe that's the difference between- How did you not kill king -Asan? All this freaking armor on you and you did not kill this woman? What's wrong with you? Oh, come on, Chicky, you gotta be able to kill him. Use your giant knife. Knife this ghost to death. Yeah, she wins. Okay, good. Um, but yeah, the, I like... And then the same thing for, like, D3. Whenever he doesn't like something, you can hear it. Um, but then you can also hear him genuinely like the game as well. Like, he has, like... He's multifaceted in what he likes and doesn't like. It's not in his mind that everything is trash. Just because something is bad doesn't mean the entire thing is bad, or at least that's not the way... What was I trying to say? I hate when I get like this, because I have like so many thoughts and then I lose them all. But you get what I'm saying, is that I like people who can um, are genuine in their feelings. Nano is the same way, Nanogenics, of course. Um, Zenrod is that way, because like I think people get angry at his Dokkan summons because he's like, you're not doing anything to it. And Zen's thing is always like, who wants to like get hype over shit pulls? And he's got a point. Like, 
Um, there is an art to doing um, specifically multi summon videos, and they're very tough to do. And Dokkan is especially tough. Like, the, the best thing you can do is kind of go like, oh, this is a good pull, I don't need them. But for Dokkan, it's like, this is a good pull, I don't need it though. Or this is a bad pull, this was a waste of 50 everything. Um, very interesting. Very interesting stuff, for sure. And I think with that, that's going to be the end of today's fate. What would be a fate slash, fate slash grind? There you go. Thank you for the inaugural episode of fate slash grind. As we, um... Kind of grinded a bit on that one. I don't know if you want these longer or not, and you just want to hear me talk for a while. I know some people like that for Dokkan, but that's also Dokkan. So I don't know if you'd want to hear it for Faith. So many questions to ask, so little things to say. Um, I'll figure it out, though. And thank you, everyone, for everyone who stayed, who stayed to the end. If you stayed to the end, thank you very much. Remember to leave a like if you ended up liking it. Um, leave a comment for any of the things I talked about, and I'm sure I'll remember what the hell I was talking about. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.